Hello, my name's Manoj Kashavji. Uh, my wife, Leela, sadly passed away recently, suddenly. Uh, Leela was a mother of three children, two teenagers and a nine-year-old. We have two daughters and a little son. We're a young family, and as you can imagine, uh, it's been quite uh, traumatic for us all. But I'm ever so proud that uh, Leela was an organ donor. Leela was an amazing human being. I mean, she was just a good person, and she didn't do anything for the sake of it. As in, when she did something, she didn't do it because she wanted attention or she wanted others' respect. She did it because it was the right thing to do. And she, whenever she did good things or wanted to help other people, she'd never talk about it, and she'd never make it into a big deal because she only did it because it was the right thing to do and because she genuinely cared. She always liked to play with me, like, you'd always ask me if I wanted anything, if we went to the shops or anything like that. You, her munchkin, her abuli. Do you remember any more names, guys? Chubsy. Chubsy? No, that's you. <laughs> yeah, well, that was all of us. <laughs> she believed in the value of giving, dan and seva. Uh, the best part of living was giving, and everyone can give in different ways. And giving is not just about financially, it's about your time. She fulfilled all her wishes and desires as a mother, as a wife, and as a good human being. She became an organ donor many, many years ago. And she did this simply because she believed that everyone's life has a purpose. And even in death, there may be the opportunity to help others. In the UK, we have a, a really serious problem, particularly within the black, Asian, minority ethnic communities. At any one time, latest research shows that there are up to 1,900 people from the BAME community waiting for an organ. Now, many of these people often don't receive an organ at all. Leela always believed that if you one can help, even through death, one should. So she was able to save many lives. She did this because she believed that she could fulfill a personal desire to do good, even after death. She enabled this to happen by speaking to her family. On different occasions as a family, we sat and around the table and we talked about this subject um, probably a couple of times a year, three times a year, as a whole family. It became a normality. It wasn't, there was no awkwardness or anything around the situation that meant that we couldn't talk about it. It was always very open and it meant that obviously we knew by the end like what we had to do. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the importance buddy, of uh, talking about this? Uh, as a family. She always just thought that, you know, if you don't talk about it, then if anything ever happens, you don't know what that person would have wanted. Mm -hmm. So I think it's quite important that your family always know so that they can make the appropriate decisions and actions when you're gone. And it would have been a betrayal of her if we hadn't gotten it done. And even though it's like sad that she died, someone else got to live because of her. Now, when you're giving an organ to somebody, you're not making a difference to their life alone. It's their husband, their wife, their brothers, their sisters, their uncles, their aunts, their friends, their whole family. They're all impacted in different ways. So I would implore you as a husband, as a father, please talk about organ donation around the dinner table. It's the ultimate gift you can give, the gift of life to somebody else.